Hello everybody, this is JT Productions and welcome back to another 2023 preview and prediction video. Today, I'll be doing the Arizona Wildcats. <clears throat> so, let's get into it. Well, over the past couple of seasons, besides last season, Arizona has been a big laughing stock. They've been that way since like 2014-2015. And now, they're getting better with new head coach Jed Fish, who came in, I believe, in 2020 or 2021 somewhere wearing around there, and almost got Arizona to a bowl game last season, which was pretty good for their standards. Um, last season, they went 5-7 and seven with losses against Mississippi State, California, Oregon, Washington, USC, uh, Utah, and Washington State. They got some big wins over Arizona State, UCLA, uh, and UCLA. So, with that being said, let's look at their roster for this year to see how I believe their roster is going to shake out. Well, your quarterback, Jaden Delora, is back, which is a big plus for you. <clears throat> he did uh, well last season uh, when it came to quarterbacking. You were trying to break him in, coming in. I forget where he came in from, but he came in maybe like San Jose State or something, but he looked good last season, and I expect him to look good this season as well. You have wide receiver Jacob Cowling, who was one of your better receivers last year. Uh, you have senior Michael Willie at running back. You have uh, McMillan, wide receiver, and you have a transfer Montana, uh, Lamonius Craig, coming in from, uh, let's see. If it load, give you a second. It's taking a little bit. Come on. There we go. Colorado. So that's a big get for them. And uh, the offensive line... You have a mixture of youth and uh, veterans. That's at guard, left guard and right tackle. You have redshirt freshman and a sophomore. But at right guard, center, and left tackle, you have a redshirt senior, a junior, and a senior. So we'll see if uh, that offensive line can gel. That could be a potential... Um, uh, weakness to their offense, but we'll just have to see. Tight end, you have Tanner McLaughlin. So, he's a Richard senior. So, with that being said, let's look at the defense, see what you got there. This this side of the ball has a lot more transfers, including Bill Norton, who's a transfer from Georgia. Uh, you have a bunch. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You have Taylor Upshaw who's a graduate transfer at defensive end coming in from Michigan, which is a big pickup for them. Michigan has is one of those teams that has a lot of depth on the defense, so getting a guy from there is a big upgrade. You also have Justin Flo, who's a linebacker, redshirt sophomore, coming in from Oregon, which is a big pickup. He was one of Oregon's best linebackers. Uh, Dylan Wyatt, a defensive back, coming in from... This stuff is taking so long. Cal Poly. That being said, I'm just going to read off the names for this video, at least, about the transfers because of how slow my stuff's been. That's my part. If I name a player that went to your school and don't recognize it, no hard feelings. So you have Co Nofo Aga Toto at nose tackle. You have Oren Patu at cat linebacker. Dylan Wyatt. You have Daniel Hamuli at linebacker. You have Taylor Manoa at nose tackle. You have Charles Yates at corner. 
and Martel Irby at other corner. You also have C.J. Flores at safety. So, all in all, both sides of the ball for Arizona standards look pretty good. So, with that being said, let's jump right to the schedule, see what I think Arizona is going to do this year. Well, you start out the season with a game at home against Northern Arizona. I don't think you're going to have a problem with Northern Arizona. At this point, you are um, way above the Arizona that was losing to schools like this. So I think that you're able to get a win uh, at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on the Pac-12 Network and beat Northern Arizona. Then you have a big road game against Mississippi State, a team that you lost to last year. Now, it was a close game, I'll give you that. Mississippi State also lost Mike Leach. Sadly, he passed away. So they're bringing in, they have a new coach, and they have a new philosophy on offense. You have to go on the road there. However, I think that Jaden Delora and that offense for Arizona is going to uh, make strides, at least early in the season. And I think you pick up a win here against Mississippi State. I think this is going to be a big upset for the Wild or er, from Bulldogs, and a big win for the Wildcats. Then you come back home to play UTEP. UTEP's one of the worst Group 5 teams in the nation. I don't think you're going to have a problem there. I think you get the win there to go to 3-0. Then you're on the road at Stanford. Stanford's, I think, is going to be one of the worst Power 5 teams this year because of how much they lost uh, with all their a lot of their players transferring out. I think you get the win there before having a big matchup against Washington in Tucson for Week 5. September 30th. Uh, you're playing Washington at home. I don't think that you're going to have enough firepower to keep up with Washington. While they did just lose one of their starting running backs, I think that Kalen DeBoer and Michael Penix Jr. and that offense are going to be good enough this early in the season to get a win against you. So I think you get your first loss before going on the road the next week to USC, where I think you take your second loss. Then... You have another leg of that back of that road stretch. You go on the road to Pullman, Washington, to take on the Washington State Cougars. Now this this game I could see going either way. You're coming off back to back losses, and you're going on the road to Pullman, a very hostile environment. And I think you get the win. I think you get the win there. I think at this point you're trying to fix some mistakes that you've seen through adversity, and I think you get the win uh, on the road at Washington State. Going to the bye week, you are 5-2, uh, and two, not a bad start, almost bowl eligible. Coming out of it, you play Oregon State, one of the most physical teams in the Pac-12 this year. They do have D.G. Oyungle at quarterback, so that could be good for them. They um, went 9-3 and three last year. They were a physical team. They beat Oregon. I think they beat uh, UCLA. They beat Utah, maybe. And so I think you lose this one. I just think they're going to be too physical for you. I think uh, with you not having the mo- most quality depth, it's going to be a tough game for you. So I think coming out of the bye week, you lose this one. Then you... Then you stay home to play UCLA. Now, UCLA is another team under Chip Kelly that is a uh, high-powered offense and the defense is whatever. They do have a first starting quarterback in Dante Moore. So that could take into account you're playing them at home. I think you get a win here because of the veteran presence of Jaden Delora. After this, you go on the road to Colorado. Colorado is going to be a very polarizing team uh, one way or the other this year. They have Deion Sanders. They have almost all of their starters from last year are gone. You're playing them at Boulder. I think you get upset here. I think after getting a big emotional win against UCLA, I think this sneaks up on you, and I think you lose to Colorado. Now, after this, you come back home to play Utah, and I think you lose to Utah as well. Utah is a very well-coached team under Kyle Whittingham, and I think with Cam Rising being a key player this year, I think that they beat you. 
So at this point, you are 6-5 and five going into your rivalry against Arizona State. And I think you win that game. Arizona State's breaking in a new head coach as well, and Kenny Dillingham. They have a new quarterback. I just think it's going to be at least a year or two away for Arizona State to get back to where they were. So I think you finished the season 7-5, and five, one of Arizona's best records since probably 2014. Not bad for the Wildcats under Jed Fish. So there you go. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and go dogs.